What's up everybody, Ebert42 here, back with some more Madden 16 Mutt coin making tips, hitting you guys up with that knowledge for BCA weekend number one. Um, you guys can see I've been selling a lot of these badges. The last round went for 5.9, the round before that was at 6.8. I actually moved a, a couple of these early on this afternoon for about 8.9 so there's a lot of coins to be had this weekend you guys all need to be in the auction house searching for these things I'll show you quick how to set that up what the best way to go about that is just hop in here quick go to collectibles drop down to programs go to BCA and bam all you're gonna see now are BCA badges Go to buy now price, give that a couple sorts, 4.9. So we're not interested in that. We want to check what these are going for. It's actually quite a few up for about 5k now. Prices on these are going down. I predict them to drop at least to 5k. I was thinking we could sell around 4.3 when I was looking at these not too long ago. But then what I will do is go into here, go into Elite, and that way it'll update what's going on and you can see the newest cheapest badges on here and you just hop in buy now BAM if you want it I'm not gonna buy this one somebody did buy that one um, if they are going for 5-3 use my standard 80% rule guys so uh, auction house is gonna take 10% and if you can take another 10% and just keep doing that all day long so if we do that at 5.3, we're going to end up getting about uh, 4.2. So anything that you could find that's at 4, 4.1, around that price, go ahead and snatch those. And if you keep searching, you will find those. It's a little late at night right now, so there's not a lot of new stuff getting posted. Uh, the best time to do snipes like this is during the day, during the afternoon, evenings, when there's a lot of people on, ripping open badges, doing stuff like that. Bam, bam, bam. See what's going on in the Twitch chat here. Again, big heart to all the guys hanging out in Twitch on the late night. BCA uh, auction house tips for the guys watching on YouTube. Make sure you stop by to get the tips live. Uh, get that knowledge before anybody else so you can get out there. Work that auction house uh, a little bit before all the YouTube crowd does. I also do most of my giveaways on Twitch, so you guys need to stop by and hit the follow button to get involved in those. Also, this weekend, don't forget to flip some of these BCA players, especially the gold ones that go into the sets. So if we go down here into sets, and we head on over into redemption, you can see the sets for BCA Master Larry Fitzgerald and BCA Master Eric Berry. I'm so excited about both of these guys probably not going to pick either of them up anytime soon they're going to be super expensive a lot of these elites are going for quite a bit of coins so these guys would be decent to get in look for some flips on i expect through the first bca release all these prices will continue to drop i expect when bca second release comes out all the prices on the first ones are going to go up so when these things bottom out on saturday and if you have some extra coins laying around, don't be afraid to do some investing on some of the cheaper ones. Same thing for the gold guys. Uh, these guys would be some good flips right now. I think this guy is going for like 3k. Slap a bit in on that while we're here. He's up at 4.4. We saw some at 3 not too long ago. Should have grabbed one of them, relisted. Hopefully one of the guys in the Twitch chat did that. One of the guys in Twitch is saying new BCA will drop tomorrow. That would be sweet, but I'm not sure it's going to drop that early. I was under the impression that uh, they'll do uh, one round of BCA1 like this, so for the first round that you can buy um, the BCA bundles and the BCA badges. We're going to be in release one, and then they'll do some other pack, and then they'll do another BCA pack and during that they'll come out with BCA2. So if you guys notice, you can only buy these with points. You cannot buy these with coins. 
and those sets do have an expiration date on them of November 1st. So they'll probably do a re-release of all the BCA stuff, uh, like the third or fourth weekend, um, but they're going to want to maximize their money, and uh, that's how I see them doing that. So while all this crazy BCA stuff is going on, do not forget that there's a lot of other good stuff to be flipping on the market. There'll be a lot of people focusing on these things, which leaves room in other areas. I had some guys in the chat talking to me about 80 to 84 wide receivers. I looked some up on Mutthead. I actually looked up 80 to 84 uh, players, and I searched for 5 to 10K value, and there were like five receivers, and there were like four or five cornerbacks as well. I don't have the names for you guys, um, but I'll get them for you and either post them in the YouTube uh, description or we'll be back with them for you guys next time. But you can see Fitz is going for 5-3. A lot of times you can pick these up for 1 or 2K. Um, I believe Deshaun was going for a decent amount as well. But go check these guys out on Mutthead. Do that uh, sort value I told you about. There's about 25 players in that range going for that price range. All of those players are good to flip. If you want to focus you know, easily, I would say wide receivers and cornerbacks are where you could do your quickest searching and sorting to look for those. See what's going on in the Twitch chat. Football Outsiders, 24 hour Olsen. Yeah, a little disappointed. Love me some run blocking tight ends, so I am excited about the um, BCA uh, 49ers tight end that came out. He looks pretty good. Also, this weekend, guys, don't forget these legends are a great area to go to flip some items to make some coins. A lot of the most recent ones are still going for a decent value. Sometimes you can find these posted for 20 or 30k because people are not doing their research. Or you can get some bids in on some of these guys and pick them up for cheap as well. Rev Trev, what up, yo? Thanks for stopping by. And these Andre Reed ones, he's a great receiver. There aren't even any of those out there. These ones are going for a ton. Looked at these earlier. So great area to look to make some flips this weekend while everyone else is focusing on BCA. Pick your poison. You know, you can get a lot of smaller flips in on the BCA stuff and make a lot of coins that way. That's kind of my preferred method. Guaranteed coins, you get them over time. Or you can maybe go look at some of these other things because there'll be less people in there looking at them. You can look for some of those bigger snipes. While we're talking about BCA, uh, I want to mention, you know, that a lot of the stuff we were looking at, the golds, um, the BCA cards, everything, there's a market crash going on right now. So because of BCA, people want all these new cards, people are trying to get coins, so everything else is a, a little bit cheaper right now. That doesn't mean that you guys can't flip that stuff. We're going to talk a little bit more about that crash during the... Uh, the market discussion video for YouTube and a little bit later on for you Twitch guys. Um, but you can still flip those wide receivers and cornerbacks at 80 and 84. You know, you can still flip a lot of these badges that I've talked to you guys about flipping. Um, a lot of these elites are going for uh, pretty cheap now if we go look at some of the the base elites. This might be a good time to maybe pick some guys up, uh, some of the base elites up to do some sets if you're working on Mutt Master. I mean, um, you know, especially if we sorted, I bet we could see some more of these guys for even cheaper than this. But I know this guy goes in a set, this guy goes in a set. Um, you know, there's a lot of pretty, pretty decent buys this weekend because of the market crash. Um, if you do buy some of these guys and their price does go down a little more, don't worry. The market's going to come back up. You can think of it as an investment right now. Just hold on to them. Their price will rebound a little bit, and you can get rid of them once it turns into the range of uh, making a flip. So it's going to end the auction house tips for the YouTube guys. Uh, make sure you go follow me on Twitter at Ebert underscore 42. Rev Trev, I did get your tweet about Shazier. I tweeted you back. Um, I am holding on to... 
a couple of the Shazier collectibles at the moment. If we go into um, middle linebackers, and I sort by newest, not quick sell value. You should see I have a pass rush, a man D, and a run stuff. Uh, I picked those up for between 5 and 8K while they were kind of bottomed out. I was thinking about getting a zone D1 too, but I never really found a good, good deal on one of those. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to put them together. I've heard some really good things about them, but I also have this Kendricks, and he's pretty stud too. The market's down, so I don't want to sell Kendricks right now. If the market uh, comes back up and Kendricks' price is um, you know, back around 120 or 110 where it was before, I will likely sell him, make a Shazier. Otherwise, I'm probably going to look at flipping these. I'm going to talk a little bit more about these at the end of the market discussion. So stick around if you want the inside scoop on what to do with these Shaziers guys. And uh, on YouTube, make sure you check out my market uh, analysis video to learn the insight on those guys. So yeah, go follow me on Twitter. Come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ebert42. And for the guys watching me on Twitch, swing by my YouTube channel, uh, put the link in YouTube and Twitch for you guys now. Um, so to the guys on YouTube, big heart, if you like the video, make sure you hit like, hit the subscribe button if you want to know when I'm coming out with more content, and leave some notes below. Let me know if, you're, if you made a bunch of coins flipping some BCA items, uh, what you were flipping, and how much you made off of them. Hope you guys make a ton of coins this weekend, and we will catch you guys next time.